Many of the books in the Birthplace collection can be handled without using rests, but some of our older books have delicate spines and bindings. Researching using old books need not be daunting, but they require a little extra care when handled. In this video, we'll be looking at some of the tools available to help when handling old books and providing some guidance on how to handle the books correctly. Using book rests, such as these wedges and supporting pillows, helps to support a book's spine and preserve the binding. Book snakes, or weights, are placed on a book to help hold open pages without pressing down on them or constant handling, both of which can cause damage. Acid-free tissue slips can be inserted to mark your place in a book. We do have gloves available, however the majority of our items do not require the use of gloves. However, you do need to ensure your hands are clean, dry and free from any creams or lotions. When using a book rest, the key thing is to ensure the book is fully supported by the rest. Lift the book onto the rest as opposed to dragging or sliding it into position. When opening and closing old books, take your time and be gentle. Using a book rest restricts the opening angle of the book, which prevents damage to fragile bindings, stitchings and boards. If required, a pillow can be used to further support one side of the book and aid reading. To use a book snake, gently place it over the outer edge of the page you wish to refer to. Take care not to place the snake directly onto any areas with images or text, as these may be fragile and more susceptible to damage. The weight of the snake will hold the page open without you having to constantly hold the book. When handling old books, the general rule of thumb is to be gentle. Slow down and take your time when turning pages. If a page appears to be stuck or very stiff, don't force it and ask a member of staff for assistance if required. Acid-free tissue slips are provided to help you mark your place in a book. Post-it notes, sticky notes, book darts and ordinary notebook paper must not be used as they can damage the book. When closing the book, do so gently, using the rest to help you. If moving a book, lift it and set it down as opposed to dragging or sliding it. The key things to remember when handling old books are to ensure that you have clean, dry hands that are free from any creams or lotion. Be gentle and take your time when handling and use the rests and tools provided to help you support delicate spines and bindings. And remember, if you are uncertain about handling a book or worried about damaging it, our staff are always available to help you. We hope this video has been helpful and look forward to welcoming you to the Samuel Johnson birthplace. To discuss how our collection might be able to assist your research and to arrange visit to us, please contact us using the details shown.